Darn it. That's the wrong one. There we go. It is just past 7 a.m. Friday, July, whatever the date is, I have no idea. And I just got back from the gym. Right now I'm eating breakfast. I've awoken, that's for sure. I'm electric, not really. I'm running on fumes, but that's besides the point. My mom actually ended up going back to the grocery store and getting all of the ingredients of my breakfast. So I don't have to eat crappy hotel food and I'm really happy about that. After this, I'm gonna take a shower because my hair looks like this. Anyways, let's get going. Hello everybody, how's it going my dudes? On this fine day, I had my first ever VidCon meet and greet. I was excited. I downed my breakfast quickly, which included two avocado tortillas instead of one. After that, I took a warm, wet and moist shower shower and changed into my dapper outfit for the day. Now this little yellow plaid number is from none other than Aritzia. The first time I saw it, I told myself that I would never wear it in a million years. That same night, I went to bed and had a nightmare that I was Cher Horowitz from Clueless and immediately woke up. It was 3 a.m., but I still managed to order this two-piece and enter my credit card number correctly. Now we're here, I absolutely love it. My name is Joanna Horowitz and I am here to do your bills incorrectly. If the Canadian Revenue Agency sues you, it's the Blazers' fault, not mine. At this point, it was already 11 a.m. and it was time to go to the convention center. Unfortunately, my ravenousness got the best of me, so I demanded that room service make me the thickest omelet ever. It arrived at my doorstep 15 minutes later, and it looked delightful. I ate it as fast as possible. Unfortunately, because of the time crunch, I wasn't really able to stop and taste the ricotta cheese, but it was there, it showed up, it gave life to the world, and it tasted good. Now, I have mixed feelings with omelets because they low-key look like fried barf. The yellow truly does not do it any favors, but they usually taste good. Anyways, once I was done with my eggy business. It was really time to go. We had been waiting for too long. I blame it on Wimbledon. I strutted my stuff down the hall and made my way to the big bad scary van that looked like some sort of transformer in automobile form and off to VidCon we were headed. Then I jumped into this golf cart which is strange because I don't know how, never have known, and never will know how to play golf and went down this escalator that would take me to the first level of hell in Dante's Inferno. It was just past 12 p.m. at this point. I was waiting to meet everyone who had signed up for my meet and greet. I was excited and hungry. Hungry, and they had cookies. Good. Exactly what I needed. How many did I eat? You know what? There are things you shouldn't ask under any circumstances for any reason because of anyone. Alas, it was time that I take up my post and meet the 250 odd people who signed up to meet me. Let me tell you, I had a blast. Everyone was just so sweet and awesome. It's at times like this that I truly get to see the faces of the 2.4 million people who subscribe to my channel because as a creator, it's impossible to imagine the scope of what you've created. I mean, I can't even begin to imagine it. It's kind of like you a third dimensional creature trying to imagine the fourth dimension. It just can't be done no matter how hard you try. But regardless, I had so much fun meeting you guys and I wanted to thank everyone who took the time out of their day to meet me. After all that gymnastics was over and done with and I had met everyone, my parents and I walked away drained but happy. We still were unaware that we could not be on the main floor as featured creators, so we unknowingly broke the rules and decided to waltz around and look at the exhibits. See, I told you we were felons. I belong in a cell. Nay, I belong in solitary confinement. I'm a danger to society. And Area 51 is scared of me, not the other way around. Hello, my dudes. So my meet and greets are over, and I'm now just chilling at the pool. I'm sizzling. But anyways, I have a couple things to say. I have a couple stories to tell you all. First of all, where are these glasses coming from? So I went thrifting with my mom, and she found these sunglasses for $4.20. She read that they were by the brand Fossil. And apparently, according to her, that's an expensive brand, so she made me buy it. So that's the only reason why I'm wearing these right now. They're kind of snazzy, though, not gonna lie. Number two. I saw Danielle Cohen's boyfriend, well, ex-boyfriend, I don't know what the heck is happening, and I was going to go up to him and ask him how old she really was, but then I remembered that he's also fetus, so he probably doesn't remember anything past yesterday, so that wasn't gonna really work. Third thing I have to say is that everywhere I went today, there were cookies, and every single time I picked one up thinking it was a chocolate chip cookie, but guess what? It was a raisin cookie. Are you kidding me? Are you, are you serious right now? Like, you can't do one thing correctly. You had one job. You made the decision to give me raisin cookies. You have issues, my dude. So, unfortunately, I ate three raisin cookies today, and I was expecting it to be a chocolate chip cookie, and I was angry. So, yeah, that was the worst part of my day by far. Right now, after this, I don't really know what's gonna happen. Maybe I'll just go out for dinner with my parents, have a fun time, eat lots of spaghetti. I'm kind of in the mood for spaghetti, not gonna lie. 
I like spaghetti, but anyways, I'll see you guys in a bit. The only other thing that happened that day was that I actually got invited to make a reaction video for the Fine Bros. The video is already up on their channel, so if you want to go and watch it, go ahead and bask in all of my awkward glory. Now, I was going to film there, but I didn't want to invade their privacy, so I ended up not doing so. However, I did manage to get one singular clip. Here it is, completely uncut, completely chaotic, and completely nonsensical. Just finished at. We just finished with the reaction video. This door is about to open. Uh, ah, ew. Hello my dudes, how are we doing? It's the final day of VidCon. I have a meet and greet today at 10 a.m. I'm gonna take a shower, clean myself up a bit cause I'm one sweaty mess, that's for sure. I would like to thank a couple people. Actually, yesterday in my meet and greet, some people gave me some of their fan art and some gifts. To the girl who gave me the avocado, thank you so much, we were running low on them. And this painting, my dude, what the heck? There's a bunch of other things that people gave me. Someone gave me a Nerf gun. Thanks to everybody who gave me something, you know, but I'm gonna finish my breakfast now. I'll see you guys in a bit. So I took a soggy shower this time around and got my hair did by none other than Mother Goose. If she ever loses her blow dryer, it's over for me and my hair follicles. And suddenly, I was ready for day two of the VidCon madness. Now this outfit is almost entirely thrifted, but it is also completely inspired by one of the looks on the Aritzia website. Actually, as of me recording this voiceover, I'm happy to report that Aritzia responded to one of my tweets, and I can't say I'm not excited. Oh yeah, and when I said that this outfit is almost entirely thrifted, the part that isn't is the white top. Why? Because it's from Aritzia. Anyways, at this point, I was just left waiting for both of my parents who were slowpokes getting ready, and then we were headed off to the convention. I was so nervous, my mind was going a solid mile per hour. I mean, I was really breaking down walls here. What were they gonna think of me? Did I smell bad? Was I a pest? A fungus among us? A bird? A plane? Billy Bob Joe? Who knew? Certainly not I. Maybe the aliens knew. I'm talking about the ones in Area 51, of course. Actually, the fact that the US Army thought that people were being serious with that meme makes me more scared for them than the people planning on attacking them on September 20th. Like, do they not know that Twitter is the breeding ground for stupidity? I swear, on September 20th, Area 51 is gonna be more heavily protected than the Mona Lisa. I'm expecting lasers, the boobiest traps ever, a snake pit, a moat, lava in at least seven different places, a Mad Max truck for intimidation, and an anti-gravity machine for giggles. Hey, it's Area 51, don't sit there and tell me they don't have all that stuff lying around. Anyways, at this point, my parents and I were just chilling in the green room that's not so green, away the meet and greets commencement. I was busy eating myself silly with cookies. We were the only ones in there, so I had all the cookies to myself, and I was really going insane to say the least. Before I knew it, the meet and greet started. Absolute chaos ensued. There were another 200 people to meet, greet, skeet, and yeet. Everyone was so nice to me, it was very sweet. There were enough people there to line a street. Still, I shook everyone's hand with lots of time to spare. I mean, all I had to do was smile and stare. At a certain point, a young lady came by with these boots that sent me into a frenzy. No, they were not that friendly. Why? Because they were deadly. Okay, I need to stop. Before I knew it, the meet and greet was over. I was dead to say the least, so I ate a bunch of chips. I haven't had chips in so long, and these just hit the right spot in all the wrong places. After a quick water bottle heist, because hotel water sucks booty, we were out in the wild. Put your sun hats on because we were going on a safari. Oh my god, Chris, no, don't pet the lions. Chris, Chris. Christopher Columbus? Oh, the safari has to stop. Why? Because Mother Goose wants ice cream. Cookies and cream is going to be the death of all of us. It really is a gift from the gods. And don't get me started on cookie dough ice cream. That stuff can- ah! You see, here's my mentality. If you're gonna eat sugar, do it bad. Get out of here with your strawberry flavored ice cream. I want the every bite you take of this will cut five years off of your life type of ice cream. Unfortunately, at this point, we were too tired to keep walking around and meeting those who could not make the meet and greet, so we went back to the hotel where we accidentally goofed around with this strange car that we thought was a display, but was in fact some rich butthole's horseless carriage. And no, the hotel staff did not come out guns a-blazing to find both my parents waving and smiling in this three 
three-wheeled car. Flash forward a good five hours. It was time for the feast of the evening. Dinner! I changed into this lovely blue wrap dress from, once again, Aritzia, and met my parents who were already at the elevators waiting for me. Now, this is actually my second time visiting the wonderful city of Anaheim. My parents and I came here nearly 10 years ago because my dad had to make some big, complicated speech about why french fries will kill you if you eat them every day. And we went to this exact same Italian restaurant that was possibly one of the best restaurants we'd ever eaten at. So, that night on the penultimate eve in Anaheim, we decided to go to that same one 10 years later. Now, this restaurant, let me tell you, you have to come here with an empty stomach and a solid headspace because you do not come here if you're not going to eat yourself to death. We started with this mozzarella garlic bread. Need I say more? Like, I feel bad for the toilet, but I could not care less in the moment. Actually, screw the toilet. I feel bad for my intestines. The lasagna. Oh my god, how on earth did they actually make tomatoes taste good? Actually, I know why. It's the sugar, but we won't talk about that. I mean, do you even see those cheese strings? How on earth do you do that? Eating this stuff is literally a religious experience. You transcend dimensions. And when you reach the last piece, be prepared to fall into a bout of post-lasagna stress disorder. It's up to you to face the fact that you will probably never eat lasagna this good. And finally, it's time for the pinnacle of this carb fest, the birthday sundae. 12 brownies with 6 scoops of vanilla ice cream. This stuff should not exist on any planet, but some insane person in the kitchen decided to make this, and honestly, I'm not even complaining. This is too crazy. This thing has its own gravitational pull. It bends space-time and literally emits energy. At some point, it will shrink to its Schwarzschild radius, collapse into itself, and form a black hole. Mark my words, idiot. Anyways, after that food attack, we dragged ourselves out of the restaurant and made our way home, where we packed our bags and flew home the next day. That was the end of my trip to Anaheim. On a real note though, my dudes, I just wanted to say thanks for all your support because it is because of you guys that I even got to go to VidCon, so thanks again. <sighs> Now for the announcement you've all been waiting for. Now it's been quite a while since I released merch, so it is with great pleasure that I unveil to you the Joanna Cedia box. I've been working on this for so long and I'm so excited to finally have it out in the open. In here I put all the little trinkets that you guys have been asking for over the past couple months. First of all, the pink sunnies. It's a classic. I've had these since I was a little fetus so you can now join in on the fun. The beanie. This beanie will keep your noggin warm on the coldest of days, especially if you live in the Arctic, like I do. The mini microphone keychain. Now, I don't own a castle yet, but when I do purchase one, my keys will go on this. Next, the kazoo. What more do I have to say? If you want to make a cover of any song, this is my instrument of choice. This little pin with my glasses on it. I'm sorry, but they are not actually functional glasses. Don't put them on your eyes because you will bump into your own feet. And finally, we have this little pig. Now, most of you might be wondering what the hell this is, so let me tell you. In my profile picture, there is one wonderful little piggy there. I wanted you guys to have one too. You can eat breakfast with him, play chess with him, storm area 51 alongside him, it's honestly up to you. Let's move on to the launch itself. Now, the part about this launch that I'm the most excited for is the fact that all the money I make will be donated to a charity. I wanted to give this money to others who needed it more than I do, so it will all be donated to a charity here in Toronto called Pathways to Education. They focus on ending poverty through keeping kids in school and not dropping out, which is something I really support. It would be really cool if we could get about a thousand boxes sold to really get a sizable donation going, so that will be the goal for this campaign. The Kickstarter campaign ends on Sunday, July 28th, so if you're interested in supporting, please make sure to do so by then. There will be a link to the store in the description box below, but please, if you don't have the funds, don't feel pressured to purchase this. Your subscription is more than enough support for me, so I will be grateful either way. Other than that, I love you so much, I hope you have a wonderful evening, and I'll see you in the next one. Toodles!